Hello, this is a video on how to calibrate the HMI. So set up all the modules, connect them all to your, in this case, a six pad system. So make sure they're all connected currently. And I'm currently working on channel one. So what I do is make sure I back here, my crane scale, 1000 pound block. Here, go to Cal and then click on channel one. You'll see it light up. You could now dial in the weight. So in my case, I'm using 1,000 and it's right now set to pounds. So make sure channel one selected and it presses zero cal. Now place your thousand pound block or whatever weight you're gonna be calibrating with on the pads themselves. Okay, I placed my thousand pound block on the pad itself. So now I could press the enter button for a second and then save cal for a second. Now the save the calibration. Now remove the weight from the pad. So you see I'm gonna lift up my thousand pound block. Okay, I removed the thousand pound block so now I can go back. So see channel one is currently at zero. Don't worry about the other ones. We'll calibrate these later. So channel one is zero. So now place the weight on the block and let's see if it's correct. Okay. So now you can see on channel one, you see 1,000 pounds. I know the overall number is going to be different, but channel one is the important one, 1,000 pounds. I remove the weight, it's going to go back to zero. So now what I do is actually move on to second pad. Okay, you can see how my channel one is still at zero because I removed the weight from my first pad. Now I'm on to channel two and it's the exact same process, press cal. But now instead of channel one, channel two is going to be highlighted. Make sure there's no weight. I, I lifted up the weight. And then press the zero cal to hold it down. Now add the thousand pound block back on to the pad itself. In my case, pad two. Okay, see channel two stood it up. I added my thousand pound block onto my pad number two. So now I press the enter button, hold it down and then save cal now it saved the calibration now remove the weight from pad number two okay so on pad number two i could go back and just in case if you see like negative 100 or negative 15 or whatever here or positive and there's no weight on pad number two and you already press zero cal you might have to go back and press zero cal again you don't have to calibrate again just only zero cal Anyways, right now I have a zero. So now I add my thousand pound block back onto my pad number two. So you can see how channel number two, I added my thousand pound block and it shows thousand pounds, that's good. Now you're gonna go forward and go same process for three, four, five, and six, or however many pads you have. And that is all, and that's how you calibrate the HMI with a six pad system. So I was just finishing up the last calibration for the last pad, and it was not showing up anything for channel six. So what I had to do was actually turn off the wireless module, turn off the HMI, turn on the, the module itself first, and then turn on the HMI, and then I got a response. Make sure also your connector for your pad is all the way in, and you might need to restart it. If you get no signal, even if you put a weight on it, don't put a weight on it, you still stay at zero, because probably not getting a signal. It's a resync, turn off, turn it on, and that should help the problem.